Hello, so we are analyzing three phase circuits and uh, now to a user case for the uh, three phase uh, analytics. And um, by knowing this three phase system very well, we can determine the uh, um, size of a current going to Earth when there's uh, a, um, a line to Earth um, fault in a three-phase system. And what is necessary then is to know very well these uh, transformations and uh, then the transformation from star to delta and delta to star. Because uh, what is evidently uh, useful for us here is that we have this uh, three-phase system that we want to ultimately represent by the per-phase system. Since we here have a voltage phase and some impedance phase here. And we know that when we have these impedances, so this in this instant, it is merely reflecting any network that can be here. But it's also um, when it comes to the, the, the very impedance of the line, it's that build up of uh, uh, inductive impedance in the line uh, that will create the shunt capacitances. And when you have such a fault here in uh, one of the phases, it means that there is no uh, potential over here. There is no voltage in this uh, capacitance because it's gone to earth. So that's the short, short circuit. But then there are two uh, other ways that this current will be able to go. And that's through the um, uh, existing phases that are left when this one goes to zero. And that is in this example here, R and S phase. So that means that we will have a current in the capacitance, which we can call RT, since it's going to R from T here with this, this potential voltage potential. And then there's another one, which is the ICST, which goes over this potential here uh, from V uh, T to V S. And then the whole uh, concept here is then to make this into a per phase representation because we know that we can do this in both the star connection and the delta connection. And if we look at the lines, they will be um, uh, with R, S and T phase, they will have a connection between them, which will have a certain capacitance. And that is what we call CA, which also is C air, or it stands for C air. So it's the capacitance in air between the lines. And that is easy for us com to compute because we know the distance and we can then know the capacitance. And there is also a potential from the lines down to Earth, right? And that's the CE. And the CE is here for C Earth, capacitance to Earth. And we know here that when we have these capacitances to Earth, so this is the CE here, that is represented in this per phase directly, since it's a per phase quantity. But what about the capacitance in air? That is a delta connection. So what we can do here is that we can establish a star point, and that star point is the neutral point. But the way to do that is to make the delta to star transformation. And that means that we have here um, these two. Uh, so if, if I want to compute this connection here uh, in the R phase, so the capacitance in R phase, I need to take the parallel uh, two uh, uh, sides here and um, multiply them and then divide by the sum of all the three 
capacitances. And that means that we have C air delta is then equal to C air star times 3. And the whole concept here is that then I know something about the connection from the star point to the T point. And then I already know the connection to Earth, the capacitance to Earth. And that's the, basically, that's the thing that I need to compute. And since, uh, and that is due to that these two points are at the same uh, potential. So it means that they are in parallel, right? And then when we have capacitances, we can merely uh, sum them together. So this CD, which in Norwegian is the driftskapasitans, which we are given uh, in uh, pair phase, can then be computed by this 3 times C uh, air star connection plus the connection from C to Earth. And when we know those capacitances, and we know that there is a potential here, uh, so that th this VO has gone to VT, which means that VT is equal to VO. So this point here is now here. So we have two uh, lines left that are alive when there's a sort circuit in third, and that's where these uh, capacitance currents are going. And that's between uh, VST and VRT. And if you look at it, this is where you have the VST, and this is where you have the VRT. And that means that the capacitance current going here in ICRT is 90 degrees leading to VRT. So there's a capacitance current here, and then there's another one that's 90 degrees leading to uh, VST, which is ICST, and then the sums of those two capacitance currents will then give you the IJ, uh, which in English will be IE, so that's the current to Earth. So that's the one that we are computing here. It's I E that goes to Earth. So that's uh, very useful information to know when you are um, managing a system and when you need to be aware of the potential Earth faults and line to Earth currents in a three-phase system.